So just how powerful could America's new stealth fighter, the F-47, really be? Well, to be blunt, it might well be the most powerful fighter ever to take to the sky, and the ultimate deciding factor will probably be the size of its engine compartments. Back in 2022, the Air Force awarded contracts to GE and Pratt & Whitney to begin development on the next generation of advanced turbofan engines to power America's next stealth fighters. Now, since then, the DoD has invested a total of some $7 billion into this effort, known officially as the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion Program. Now, both GE and Pratt & Whitney have already built prototype engines using the F-35's single-engine compartment as their model, which makes a ton of sense because... The F-35's F-135 turbofan is the most advanced and powerful engine ever installed in a fighter. Now, these new engines offer different operational modes, sort of like VTEC for fighter jets for my car guys out there, including a high-efficiency reduced power mode to maximize fuel range and a high-power lower-efficiency mode to maximize thrust when you need it most. Now, when I spoke to GE about their engine, dubbed the XA100 a few years ago, they were already reporting a roughly 20% increase in thrust over the F-135, a 30% increase in range, as much as 50% more loiter time, and an incredible 200% more cooling capacity. And while all that power and range is very important, that added cooling capacity will allow these engines to produce far more electrical power than any previous turbofans, allowing for more advanced onboard systems and eventually even directed energy weapons or lasers. Now, if we were to do some very rough back-of-the-envelope math, we could look at the F-35's F-135 turbofan's maximum thrust output under afterburner, a jaw-dropping 43,000 pounds of thrust, and increase that by a healthy 20% to an absolutely incredible 51,600 pounds of thrust. Now, we know the F-47 will be a twin-engine fighter like the F-22 it aims to replace, and if it is quite a bit larger than the Raptor, as many predict, that might even allow for two engines that are roughly the same size as the F-35s, which, of course, flies with just a single engine. Now, that would mean engine compartments capable of housing two 18-foot, 6,400-pound turbofan engines, but if it did... The F-47 could boast a bone-crushing 103,200 pounds of thrust under afterburner and become the first fighter in history to break that 100,000 pounds of thrust mark, which is more than 33,000 pounds more thrust than you can pull out of today's Raptor. Of course, the F-35 only carries one engine while the Raptor carries two, Pratt & Whitney F-119s. Now, these engines are actually the basis for the F-35's powerhouse power plant, but they're each about two feet shorter and about 1,400 pounds lighter. Now, this difference in size means the Raptor's engines each produce a bit less power, 35,000 pounds of thrust under afterburner for a combined 70,000. And if we were to increase the thrust output of these smaller engines by the same 20%, we'd be looking at 42,000 pounds of thrust from each for a combined 84,000, which isn't quite as mind-blowing, but is still plenty enough to be the most powerful fighter on the planet. But to be clear, these are rough estimates scribbled in a notebook by a deeply fallible nerd, and we won't really know how powerful the F-47 will be until GE or Pratt & Whitney win the contract and the right to build this new fighter's engines.